Okay, so I wanted to talk about times when being weaker can work to your advantage. And so, particularly in the context of fleet, we can see here we have the Razor Crest is only at five stars. Beskar Armor Mando is not at Relic. And the speed of this ship is slow, 164. So that's slower than we would typically see in most Razor Crests. So if we come in with the finalizer, just as an example, and we just go through the motions of a typical type of counter. So we would put Hunted on the Hound's Tooth. And then we would just take some shots at the Razor Crest pump turn meter around and this is a key moment you can see here the razor crest still hasn't taken a turn so we're going to put our ability block onto bosk and we can strip the tenacity up from him and so right here we have to land the stun from kylo ren unmasked onto Bosk, otherwise the Razor Crest might call Bosk to assist and he will drop the ability block and then get taunt and then this counter becomes so much more difficult. So we'll do our basic, we did not get it. And here we got lucky, Bosk was not called to assist because had they called Bosk to assist there he would now be taunting, but no matter because they didn't call him. But that's that's a danger, and that has been extremely annoying recently during my fleet climb, where I, I'm facing a lot of executors with really weak supporting casts, and the timing makes it an RNG fest, and so... Anybody who has Executor, if you want to throw off some of the counters or at least make them less reliable, one way to do that is by having a weaker Razor Crest or, and or uh, Beskar Armor Mando. You don't necessarily have to be in a rush to gear them up if you're particularly trying to stop a finalizer counter because it gets pretty messy. I want to show another example this time it's Cab Bane, who is uh, low gear with the slow ship. And for those who maybe don't have Jedi Master Kenobi and are not planning on it in the immediate future, this is actually not a bad choice in terms of which character or which ship to have a little bit weaker in your fleet. He starts off hidden, he can't be targeted, so I think uh, I think it's not bad. And so again, it doesn't stop the counter entirely but it does make it a little bit more RNG dependent and we'll see as we get around to as we get around take some turns here so there we go and we can see again we're about to apply our ability block and the Xandu Blood is going to take a turn after us. So if he calls the Hound's Tooth to assist, the Hound's Tooth will drop the ability block immediately after. There it is. And so now we have to stun him here if we even have a chance. We don't. So now Hound's Tooth gets the taunt up, and then this counter just becomes much more difficult, much less reliable.
So we're basically just in a situation where Houndstooth is just perma taunting. And we have to try to cut through him. Just throw it over to him, get as many big hits as we can. Call him to assist. Yeah, this whole this whole thing starts going downhill really quick, so. counter effectively gets shut down. Which is, it's really annoying. Uh, so in my fleet shard, it is a notoriously weak fleet shard. We only have, I think, three executors total, and then the executors that are here just don't don't have a super strong supporting cast and all the characters are built and that makes what I've what I have found is it makes the counter at least the counter that I use which is the first order incredibly difficult and so it just makes it makes things a lot less reliable a bit more RNG dependent so just thought I'd share some interesting insights maybe somebody will find that useful maybe not but either way let me know what you think and if you're in a situation where some of your ships are uh, a little bit less than fully maxed out particularly the xanadu blood having a, a weak cat bane i think if if I were to intentionally try to use this strategy, this is the one I would do. I wouldn't count on the Razor Crest. That one's a little bit less tricky to manage. So anyway, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and may the force be with you.